Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja. And today I'm back with my daily video log and I'll be talking about Paulo Freire. And there was a comment on one of my videos, a comment that I didn't make public because I didn't want to respond to it in the comment section. And it was about I think chapter one of Paulo Freire, where Freire, while discussing the role of education as a humanizing praxis, right? And he's talking about the oppressed. But then he also mentions there that the process should be such that the oppressors themselves also are humanized in the revolutionary process. And the commenter had this point about why would the oppressed uh, waste their time in humanizing the oppressors? And that's a valid question to ask, but only if you haven't read the book fully, or at least followed my conversations on the book, because Freire is pretty clear why he states that. Okay. First of all, it, it is good to keep in mind that this book is a good primer or a good reader for those of us who think about revolutionary thought and the biggest fear in any material revolution is that those who overthrow the dominant groups themselves become the oppressors. And what Freire is trying to teach us is how not to become the very people whom we have replaced, right? That is, that is always one of the biggest fear in the revolutionary movements. And part of it then involves preparing the people, but also in understanding how an oppressive system works, who has internalized its logic, and by undoing that logic. So when Freire is suggesting that the oppressed must also be liberated, what he's saying, and it's very clear in the book, if you read it carefully, is that they themselves are caught within the destructive logic and system that they have created. Now, if we do not give them a chance to change themselves and become a part of the newer system, then the only way we will keep in them in check is through oppression. And if we do that, then we ourselves have become an oppressive group and the same dynamic of oppressor and oppressed will continue. So the reason Freire is encouraging the oppressed group to understand that they are not just liberating themselves, they have a liberatory praxis and philosophy which is good for human spirit and soul. And that when they oppress them, when they free themselves, what are they freeing themselves of? Of a system in which their location was that of the oppressed, which presupposes that there was an oppressive group. Freedom is from that oppressive order and from its logic. And it can only be undone when those who had perpetuated the system also become part of the change and are no longer caught within the destructive logic of what they had created, right? So that insight is crucial in any revolutionary thinking and revolutionary thought. And that's why as you read further, there are like even points which a lot of revolutionary thinkers have not even thought. I mean, there's a moment, I think, in chapter two, where he's saying, well, let's say you've launched a movement to change things, and some people from the oppressor group come and say, we see the error of our ways, we would like to join the movement, right? And what Freire is suggesting is take them in, make them part of the movement, but do let them know that they can't come in with their own ideas and say, this is how we know things ought to be done. No, they have to learn the ways of the people, right? But the room for participation is open. 
And that's a revolutionary thought of really, really high import because it creates a space for people to join in. And what it does then is the oppressed group cannot draw lines and say, you have not been oppressed, so you can't be part of the movement or you're part of the oppressive system, you're already excluded. That's the, the interesting part of Prairie's thought and praxis that he develops around it, right? So when he says that in the process of liberating themselves, the oppressed must liberate themselves, but also humanize the oppressors, what he means by is that since the liberation depends on undoing the dehumanizing order, the dehumanizing way of doing things, in that process, people who had created the oppressive order and hence dehumanized the oppressed, they themselves are also not fully human or otherwise you, they wouldn't be perpetuating oppressive philosophies and practices. So they must also be given a chance to free themselves of the logic of the older system and then be part of the newer, more human system. So that roughly is a brief answer to that comment and question about why should the oppressed you know, spend their energies in liberating the oppressors so that the new order that emerges is inclusive and creates space for everyone to join in for as long as they believe in and practice the new egalitarian model that is being developed through a revolutionary movement. And that's significant and important. So, you know, a cautionary note, if you are following my series on Paulo Freire, there are about 40 conversations in it. With Freire, you cannot form your opinions based on one paragraph or one chapter. Please read the whole book follow it through, then think about it, and then form your opinions. I'm not saying it's a perfect book. No book is a perfect book. But the book will only make sense to you if you read it carefully, chronologically, connect one thought to another, because Freire does a wonderful job of doing that. If you just watch, you know, video one, chapter one, and form an opinion on that, then what you're forming your opinion is on, you know, not the complete knowledge because there's a whole book to go through. So please read the book carefully, follow the videos, and then if you have questions, we can talk about them. I hope this answers that comment, probably not too convincingly, but, you know, I hope it allows you some more insight into thinking more critically about the book and about your own stances, our own stances, because the way we think the world is also within the given logic of the world in which we live. So that's all I have. I hope this was useful to you. I will now be back with, you know, conversation on some other topic. Until then, please stay safe, take care of each other, be generous to each other. Uh, be generous to this channel and subscribe and, and I will now see you next time. Until then, as always, peace and love.